friends welcome to a new video something that i've noticed recently about my channel is that i like to focus a lot on what i'm reading at the current time anytime i do a wrap up or i discuss books or i make a vlog it's all about books that i'm reading at the moment or that i've read in the past couple months or maybe even like a yearly wrap up but i haven't really taken a step back and done a video about my whole career <laughs> of reading books and what i liked overall what's the big picture i want to go through every book that i've rated five stars just to show maybe if you haven't been on my channel for a while you can see things that I used to read books that maybe I haven't touched in five years but I still really love and then more recent reads that I also rated five stars but I think it's just a good gauge of what types of books I consider to be top tier there's not gonna be any 4.5 stars these are strictly full five star books that I loved so here's the thing I decided to divide this video into two parts first I'm gonna do my series and then I'm gonna do standalones because if I did them all together this video would be an hour long I'm gonna to try and give like a sentence or two explanation of why I gave these books five stars but some of them are just self-explanatory everyone loves them I'm gonna start today with series we're gonna go through some of the books that I read as a kid some of them that I read as an adult so without further ado let's talk about all the books in series that I have rated five stars and also these are in zero order <laughs> first two books are of course Six of Crows and Crooked Kingdom. I almost gave Crooked Kingdom 4.5 stars because I thought it was a bit slow, but both of these books just have the best characters of all time. It's so interesting and fun. These books are so worth the hype. I'm so sorry I don't have time to do synopses for any of these books I'm gonna hold up because it would be a 30, 5,000 minute video. You know what, I'll do little synopses. This is a duology about this group that does heists and they're such good characters. We all love them. The next series I gave all five stars to is the Alex Plus Ada series, which is a graphic novel series. These are about this man who gets this robot woman for companionship as a gift after his mother or grandma dies. I forgot. But I love the art in these. It is so well done. There's so much emotion in these and I think for a sci-fi book it's pretty realistic so I really enjoyed all of them, gave all of them five stars. The next book is A Conjuring of Light by V.E. Schwab, which is the final book in the Darker Shade of Magic series. This is a series about this man who has the ability to transport himself between different magical worlds and the shenanigans he gets involved in in each world. And this is the conclusion to the series and I thought it wrapped it up so perfectly. I love these characters, love this world, love the writing, love the author, just like this book was everything. The next book I gave five stars is Paper Girls by Brian K. Bond. This is another graphic novel set in the 80s about girls who discover aliens. <laughs> the art in this is magnificent. I love how the girl group vibe is. It was just so much fun. I adored this book and I can't wait to read the rest of the series. This next one is also the final book in a series but Bright We Burn by Kirsten White. Ugh emotional. The series is a Vlad the Impaler retelling, it's gender bent, it's war politics, it's interesting complex dynamic characters. This book broke my heart, pieced it back together again, and has spectacular writing. Highly recommend this series and this again, the last one blew me out of the water. The next books I have to talk about are books two, three, and four in the Miss Peregrine series. So I think I only gave book one four stars, but the rest of these I for some reason devoured. So the original trilogy I gave five stars to, but that was like back in 2014 and 2015, but A Map of Days just came out and I freaking loved this one. This one took the series to new levels. It's a series about these kids who all have abilities. They all come together to fight these demon-y things. Next I have Prince's Gambit and King's Rising which are books two and three in the Captive Prince trilogy. Book one was a trash fire. We don't need to discuss it but these two books this series follows two princes, one of which is kidnapped and given to the other prince under a disguised name to be his slave. So it's all about this guy having to be in this opposing kingdom pretending that he's not a prince who once killed someone from that kingdom's nobility. Long synopsis, but it's enemies to lovers. It's political drama. Book one is trash, I know, but these two books stole my heart and I gave them full five stars. The next series I gave all five stars is the Mortal Instruments series by Cassandra Clare. I think I gave all of them five stars because I adored these when they came out. This is a Shadowhunter Chronicles novel. I'm sure you all know what it is. It's about teenagers who fight demons. It's urban fantasy. It's so much fun. The next series is the Delirium series by Lauren Oliver. The first and the second book are the ones that I rated five stars. This is a really cool series about how the government has deemed falling in love illegal and so you each have to get a procedure to like disable your love valve or like whatever. It's a dystopian but it's about how these two people find each other anyway and fall in love against the rules. This 
series is so addicting. Even though the main character's name is Lena, I love it. It's so much fun. I want to reread these so bad. And I just love me some angst and some boys who recite poetry. Next, we have The Unbecoming of Mara Dyer and The Evolution of Mara Dyer, the first two books in the Mara Dyer trilogy. I love these. I just mentioned these in my books that are hated on but I loved video. This is a series about this girl who has this weird ability that she kills people with her mind, doesn't know where it comes from, and she has to figure out with the help of this boy she discovers with the opposite power of hers, what is this from? How do we stop this? And it's just this weird paranormal psychological thriller. Amazing romance, amazing writing, such an interesting gripping plot, and I love these first two books. The last one was a little iffy but those first two excellence. <laughs> Next is another popular series, but I did not rate all of them five stars. Saga. I've only rated the second and the third volume five stars out of five of them that I've read. This is a sci-fi series about these two people who fall in love that are from opposing planets and they're not allowed to be in love. And then it's just the shenanigans that ensue. Following that, amazing art, it's the same person who did Paper Girls, so I guess I have a type. <laughs> These plots are so addicting, the characters are so much fun, and it's very inventive for sci-fi. Next I have one book from a four book series. This is called Dark Wild Night by Christina Lauren, the third book in the Wild Seasons series, which the first book of is called Sweet Filthy Boy. This series follows a group of friends who go to Vegas for a celebration after their graduation, and they meet a group of guys that are also there in celebration. They all pair up. They all have flings and each book follows each of those girls. This is the third one about a girl named Lola and Oliver. I mean, Oliver's the boy, not the girl. But Lola's a comic book artist and Oliver is the owner of a graphic novel shop. And it's the cutest friends to lovers romance in the entire world, I'm just saying. Next is another full series. I rated all five stars, Harry Potter. Come on. These books are so much fun. I've loved them ever since I first read them, even though I only read them when I was 15. I enjoyed all of them equally. The next series I have to talk about is a duology. I rated them both five stars and it's Just One Day and Just One Year by Gail Horman. This is a contemporary YA duology about this girl who goes off overseas and while she's there she meets a guy who convinces her to go to Paris with him just for a day so that they can explore and she can get out of her comfort zone. And then it's about what happens afterward in the aftermath of that. It's so good. Emotionally complex but still so fun to read. This series is so underrated and I cannot get over them. Next is the first book in a series, Shiver by Maggie Stiefwater. Again I just mentioned this book in my like defending books everyone hates video but I loved Shiver. I thought that it was the most cozy werewolf soft boy romance thing. <laughs> Next is another final book in a trilogy. It's Clockwork Princess by Cassandra Clare. The Infernal Devices wasn't really my jam back in the day, but this book holds so much nostalgia and it was such a perfect ending to the series that we really got to see the characters grow. This is another one of those books about people who fight demons, but this is set in like the 1800s London era. This conclusion was everything, but also the worst. <laughs> like emotionally. You know what I mean. Another iconic series. I have two out of three books in this trilogy to hold up. Bonnie, don't kill me, but I rated Catching Fire and Mockingjay five stars. Here's the thing. I wasn't a fan of book one because when I first read it, the entire plot of the book was like, will she survive? But there were two other books in the series. So yeah. <laughs> I thought that fact was weird so I couldn't quite give it a full five stars. Again, it's been like five years since I read it though so maybe if I reread it it'll be five. But everyone loves this series. I agree. I'm giving it the credit it deserves. Rightfully. Next I have another final book in a series. Obviously I'm just a sucker for conclusions because I guess it ties everything up really well and the character development gets me. Breaking Dawn by Stephanie Meyer. I think the other Twilight books were alright and I know that a lot of people have a gripe with the ending of this one but I think that again this book just has such amazing plot points. It has such iconic moments in the series. You see the characters grow. You see the characters like finally fix all their problems so you can have that closure. And I love the characters in this book so much. That's all. <laughs> the next book is A Court of Mist and Fury by Sarah J Maas which is the iconic standalone. <laughs> this is the middle book in the A Court of Thorns and Roses trilogy which is a Beauty and the Beast retelling about this girl who's from the human world who gets kidnapped into the fae land. This middle book was such a game changer. This is one of my favorite books of all time. The romance development in this and the angst and the plot like to this day it's just iconic and there are so many books now that are trying to do what this did and they just can't compare. Gave this book its full five stars that it deserves even though it plagiarized chapter 55. Speaking of which, let's talk about the Shatter Me trilogy. I'm not holding up Restore Me because I forgot it but all of them. This is my favorite series of all time. It's so good. 
I can't rate it anything other but five stars. This series is about a girl who can't touch anyone. She has this ability that she kills people as soon as they come in contact with her. And so the military confiscates her from the mental asylum she's in and gives her the option to either kill people for them or she can take control of her own life, escape from there, and do something else. That's where that series goes. They are my everything. I love this series so much. It's so beautiful in the writing and the characters I relate to so much. And it's just, it's my Harry Potter. It's my nostalgia. It's my my characters that are so real to me. I love it so much. I can probably already predict and say the last two books in this series that have yet to come out are also going to make it to this list of five star reads, but this is my favorite one in the series. Iconic, 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 iconic. This video series does not include all the books that I rated five stars in the past that I currently don't agree with, so look out for a separate video about those where I would definitely change the rating now if I had the chance. Thank you everyone so much for watching. Let me know if you also enjoyed any of these books or what other series that you've given five stars. I hope you have a wonderful life. Goodbye!